गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स लेट अस हैव अ लुक एट दिस क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम जेई एडवांस्ड 2020 दिस क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम द थर्मोडायनामिक्स चैप्टर सो लेट अस फर्स्ट एनालाइज द क्वेश्चन कंसीडर वन मोल ऑफ हीलियम गैस एनक्लोज्ड इन अ कंटेनर एट इनिशियल प्रेशर पी एंड वॉल्यूम वी सो वी हैव अ कंटेनर हियर एंड दिस यू सी हियर इज द हीलियम गैस हीलियम इज अ कलरलेस गैस I have drawn it here in red so that it is easy for you to visualize it. Okay, so that you know that there is a gas here. I have drawn it in red. And one more thing, if the color is constant, the temperature is constant. If this color becomes blue, bluish, which means the temperature is decreasing. So to also indicate the temperature, I have put a color. And he has said that this gas is at a pressure P and volume V. and you can see this is a piston which encloses this one mole of helium gas so let us say this is the thermodynamic state 1 and the thermodynamic coordinates are p and v next this gas expands isothermally to a volume 4v so this gas is expanding isothermally means its uh, temperature is constant and it is uh, expanding to a volume 4v so let us have a look at it here so after expansion this is the state of the gas its volume is 4v and as temperature is constant we can say pv equals to constant and the pressure becomes p by 4 we will say this is the thermodynamic state 2 of the gas and its thermodynamic coordinates are 4v and p by 4 after this the gas expands adiabatically and its volume becomes 32v So let's have a look at the gas here. So let us call this the final state of the gas or the thermodynamic state three. And now its volume has expanded to thirty two v. And let us say the pressure is P three. See from state one to state two. Okay, from state one to state two. was a isothermal process and you can see the temperature is constant and the color which have represented the gas see the same color so you can see the temperature from state 1 to state 2 has not changed okay now from state 2 to state 3 the process is adiabatic expansion so we know that in adiabatic expansion a gas cools down so you see the color difference here here it is a red color and i have represented here by the blue color okay so which means from here to here the gas has cooled or the temperature of the gas has decreased from state 2 to state 3 the work done by the gas during isothermal and adiabatic expansion processes are w isothermal and w adiabatic respectively okay so he's saying the work done when the gas is going from state 1 to state 2 okay work done by the gas when it is going from state 1 to state 2 is w isothermal and when it is going from state 2 to state 3 it is w adiabatic if the ratio w isothermal divided by w adiabatic is f ln 2 then the value of f is okay so if the ratio of these two work done is f ln 2 we need to find the value of f So let us now calculate the work done by the gas in isothermal process. So the work done by the gas in isothermal process is given by n r t ln v two by v one, where v two is the volume in the thermodynamic state two, and v one is the volume in the thermodynamic state one. So we have seen that the final volume is four times the initial volume. So v two by v one I am writing as four v by v, or the work done by gas in isothermal processes. n r t ln four. Next, let us calculate the work done by the gas in adiabatic process. The work done by the gas in adiabatic process is p initial v initial minus p final v final divided by gamma minus one. Here p initial state we have taken as state two. That is why here I have kept p two v two. The final state we have taken. state 
so here i've kept p3 v3 so let us see what each of these values are here and substitute in this equation so we have this given data that is gamma is 5 by 3 helium is a monatomic gas so gamma value is 5 by 3 the p2 we are taking as p by 4 volume in state 2 we are taking as 4 times v in state 3 it has expanded to 32 v so v3 equals to 32 v we need to find out what is p3 once we find p3 we can just put these quantities in this equation and we can get the work done by the gas in adiabatic process we know that in uh, adiabatic process p v per gamma is constant or we can say p2 v2 per gamma equals to p3 v3 per gamma or we can also write p3 equals to p2 times v2 by v3 whole per gamma as we know these quantities we can find what is p3 by putting these quantities in this equation we get p3 equals to p by 2 power 7 putting all these values that we have got in this equation we get work done by adiabatic process equal to 9 by 8 p into v so we'll take this as equation number 2 in the last step we had got work done in isothermal process is nrt ln 4 this nrt i am writing it as pv from the ideal gas equation and ln 4 i am writing it as 2 ln 2 so the ratio work done by isothermal by work done by adiabatic is 2 pv ln 2 divided by 9 by 8 pv if we cancel pv and pv here we get uh, this ratio as 16 by 9 ln 2 this can be written as 1.777 bar ln 2. So he has said that this ratio equals to f ln 2. Okay, so this f value he is asking us. So this value f is 1.777 bar. He has asked us to approximate this to two decimal places. So this will become 1.78. So 1.78 will be the answer to this question.